So here we are, double down, first episode back on home turf here. Myself and Dave are 13 weeks out. We have Moosey down today, big push, and uh, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, so big push on the cards today. Uh, our, myself and Ryan are both running two push days at the moment, so we're calling them big push, little push. So uh, our big push today is our main push session. We will have pull tomorrow, then we have a rest day, then our little push is, uh, my one is a little bit of chest top up work, and Ryan's is more delts and arms, just to bring up our weak points. So today we have a big push on the cards, and we will take you through it. So we get cracking now, and see you inside. Let's do it. Big push today, is it lads? Just one or did we push? Intro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in for a big push. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> First up here we have a peg deck. For this we are leaving two reps in reserve. This is literally just to activate the chest so that when we move into our pressing movements our chest is properly activated and we can take the most from it. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through a peg deck. So one of the most common errors people make when doing a peg deck is bringing the wrists into meat. And I'll show you here with Noel doing it, what it, what it normally looks like. So people just swinging the weight in and bringing wrists into touch. How to contract your peg properly is we want elbows out, then when we come in, bringing our elbows in, and focus on bringing your elbows into touch, not your wrists. So, finishing position for the movement should be arm straight out from the shoulder and driving elbows in. And the key cue here is driving your bicep into your pec. This will contract the pec. Even if you just do it with no weight, drive your bicep into your pec, you'll feel your pec contract. And that is how you execute this movement properly. So, approaching training when we're in prep, recovery capabilities are not going to be there because we're in a deficit. So, no, absolutely nothing under six reps 
you need to drop the ego. All you're going to do, if you continue to bury yourself, and any, if, you're, if you're hitting sets and getting less than five reps, you're just going to bury yourself further and further and further into a hole. And you're just, it's not a good place to be and it's not a road you want to go down. So be smart with your training, everything under control, and fucking drop the ego. Best thing you can do. Every day, baby. <laughs> Going to strap up. <laughs> Let's go, motherfucker. Not even a horse. <laughs> <laughs>push wrapped up with the boys good to get mostly down um, in and just kind of get a little bit of a taste of what's going on we have uh, myself and ryan have the the spicy stuff kicking in now for the prep so prs across the board and um, clean sailing from here it to be honest it's been a smooth prep so far bar me getting sick and um, still 13 13 weeks left so we uh, still have the 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 fun stuff the fun part, the fun part to come um, but yeah Good to have Jeff in behind the camera today. Uh, 
very good anyone in the waterford area looking to get any videographer work hit him up and we will see you in the next episode for a day in the life of myself we're gonna take you through a rest day and we will be going through a recovery session too with roach's injury clinic so stay tuned for that thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one cheers